Of course, as soon as I go to start filming, Mr. Cat decides to eat. Can you hear that? <laughs> Loudest eater of all time. Okay, I think he's done eating, so we can now move on to the actual video. Hello, pumpkins, and welcome back. My name is Aaliyah, this is The House Beyond the Hedge, and around here we do all sorts of cozy seasonal content, and right now we are fully in the midst of fall Halloween season, so today I have a little bit of a fun Halloween, well, I don't know if it's really Halloween, yeah, it's Halloween, Halloween, spooky, fall, haul. So it's all the things. It's all the things in one haul. And I'm excited to show you what I got. I have things from Bath and Body Works and from Home Goods. So if you saw my last video, you saw my little Bath and Body Works trip. And then I'm going to show you what I got from that. And then also since then, I went to a Home Goods because we don't have one in my area, but I was on a little weekend trip. And so I was able to go to one that is in a different town. So I bought a couple things there as well. So I'm going to show you those. But before we get started, I just want to mention that you might notice that the background is a little different. I rearranged my dining room, which I wanted to do on camera, but sometimes you just have to do a thing and trying to film it is like too much work. So I just did it, but I kind of like the background of this now. I have my little tea shelf here. I have a little ambiance lighting and then the table's right here so I can set my tea on it. I can set my haul stuff on it. The only downside to this is that the fridge is really close. So if you hear background noise, like if there's too much fridge background noise, let me know. I'm trying to decide if this is what I want to use as maybe a more permanent background because I'm always trying to find a good spot and there's really not great spots in my house lighting wise or like fun decor in the background wise. So this is maybe a long-term spot, but let me know what you think. Let me know if the fridge is too loud or if you like it or if you don't like it. Okay, with that little bit of housekeeping out of the way, let's get to the haul. I'm gonna start with Bath and Body Works. I will link the last video down below since that was the video that I did the actual going to Bath and Body Works in, but let me show you what I got. So there were two reasons that I went to Bath and Body Works. One was to see Halloween, which I hadn't actually seen in person yet. I wasn't too worried about seeing that right away because there wasn't anything that I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have this thing from Bath and Body Works Halloween this year. But I did want to see it in person, so that was one factor. And then also they put out the second part of the Stranger Things collection, which this time included soaps, more candles, pedestals, pocket backs, like all the things, but Stranger Things style. If you don't know, I've been watching through Stranger Things for the first time. I only made it through the first two seasons originally when the show was airing or when each season was airing, I guess. And I really wanted to give it another chance. So this summer I did a summerween theme of kids on bikes and Stranger Things fit perfectly in with that. You can see some of my videos about that if you go back uh, to my other videos on my channel. But yeah, so I've been excited about rewatching it or watching the seasons that I haven't seen yet. I have finished it now and my overall opinion is that third season is by far my favorite season. I still felt kind of the same about the first two seasons, which was like, yeah, this is fine, this is good, but I don't know, I wasn't really super into it. The third season I loved, I was really into it, and then the fourth season was a little bit of a drop off for me, but like I still enjoyed it. So I came out, I think, enjoying the show overall more than I did when I had just seen the first two seasons, so that's fun. And I wanted to go check out their collection since I was actively watching those seasons for the first time. I thought it'd be really fun to go and see what items there were and how they went with the show since it was so fresh in my mind. So let me show you the Stranger Things things that I got first. Up first, I had to get a candle. I say this every time, so I'm sorry that I'm a broken record, but I try not to buy candles at Bath & Body Works too much because I have so many other candles that I don't need ones from Bath & Body Works too. Like I buy them from small businesses, but because this was Stranger Things specific and because they were having a sale on the three wick candle, so it was super, super cheap, I did end up getting the Stranger Things Demogorgon scented candle, you know? Yep, smells just like a Demogorgon. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a Demogorgon would not smell this nice in real life. It smells really good though. So the Demogorgon is, let me see what this one is. Black orchid petals, spicy cedarwood, and dark patchouli. 
It's a really lovely combo. I really like it a lot. It's kind of like spicy, but floral, but kind of witchy. Like I feel like this will work really well for witchy things too. So now I have finished Stranger Things, so I don't need this to burn while I watch the show anymore, but you can see like I still have like half this candle left. So I will try to find other things that the scent kind of goes with. And I feel like it goes really well with maybe like a witchy spooky season thing. So I really liked this one. I liked the other two okay. I think probably the Eddie's leather jacket was my least favorite. Even though I really love candles that are leather scented, I don't know why I just didn't love that one. And then the other one was the upside down, I think. And that one actually I liked quite a bit too, but they only had it in a single wick candle and at my store and buying that would have cost more than buying this three wick candle. So that kind of broke the tie between those two for me. And I do think this one might have a little bit of an edge as my favorite, but I liked both of those. So yeah, that's the candle that I got. Okay, so part of the reason I wanted to check out this collection also was because of this specific thing. And it was this cassette pocket back. So somebody in my comments told me that this was gonna be a thing in the collection. Shout out to whoever that was. I'm sorry, I don't remember right now. And I was like, oh, cassette? Like that's perfect. It goes with my kids on bikes, like retro summer ween theme perfectly. This is a really cute cassette. It says um, Hellfire Club and it says Bath and Body Works on the front, or I guess like on one side. And then on the other side, it says for Eddie, and then it says Stranger Things. Stranger Things still isn't like my favorite show ever or anything, but I do feel like I liked it enough to buy this. And Eddie is such a great character. Everyone loves Eddie. And I also loved Eddie. And also just the vibes of it, like the retro cassette vibes. I feel like even if you're not a Stranger Things fan, this is a fun pocket back to have because seeing it from afar, you would just recognize it as a cassette and not necessarily even that it's Stranger Things. So I decided to go for it. Also, I didn't really realize this at the time, but it makes a sound. Hold on, let me see. Uh, so that's, kind of cool, but also I kind of wish it didn't because I feel like I'm gonna be accidentally hitting that button all the time when it's on my bag. And it's just gonna be making that sound randomly in public. So we'll see how that goes. But I really like the way that it holds the hand sanitizer as well. You kind of open it up as opposed to some of them, you know, you kind of shove it in there. This opens up and it has a magnet to hold it closed. So I really, Thought that was super cute. It is pretty heavy, like for a pocket bag, it's like a hefty one, but my bag is pretty hefty, so I think it'll be fine. And then to go with that, I did get a hand sanitizer to go in there, a Stranger Things one. So I did get the upside down scent for the hand sanitizer. I forget what the scent notes on this one are. It doesn't have it on here because it's like so small, but you can look it up. It smells good, I like it. And then yeah, it'll just fit right in there like that and boom there you go ready to rock so those are the only things that i got from the stranger things collection but i did get some fall collection things i did not get any halloween collection things at bath and body works i didn't really think i was going to i do have my eye on one of the wallflowers but i'm kind of on the fence because i don't know if it's perfect for what i want it for and also i don't use the scent in the wallflowers because of my cats even though I think it's probably fine, I know tons of people use that and I'm not saying you shouldn't, but I just already burn candles and stuff. I don't know, I just don't wanna overwhelm them too much. So I don't use the scents, I just use the wallflowers as like a night light if it has a light up thing. So that kind of makes me a little bit reluctant to get it. Oh, actually, I wanna tell you about this idea I had. Let me know if you think that this is a really good idea because I think it's kind of genius. So you know those like pheromone scent releasers? Here, I have one I can show you. So if you have cats, you may have seen these or used these. It plugs, it's basically exactly like a Bath Body Works wallflower, but the scent that, the scent, it's not really a scent, it's unscented, but the liquid that it dispenses into the air is a cat pheromone and it's supposed to help calm them and just like make them happier. And I usually have one going because Mr. Cat likes to jump on Wednesday and they get in fights. So I do think this helps a little bit, but if you notice, it is a very similar product. 
So what if Bath and Body Works did a collab with Feel Away, which is the brand, uh, there's many brands, but it's the brand I have, or any of the companies that do these pheromone dispensers. What if they did a collab and you could get a Bath and Body Works wallflower, but then you could get a feel away or whatever pheromone brand little bottle and you could put it in your bath and body works wallflower and then you could use all the wallflowers you want but you wouldn't have to worry about the scent oils or anything being bad for your pets because what would be coming out of it would be good for your pets i thought it was a really good idea i wish somebody would do that i honestly thought about trying to take a wallflower scent bottle open it dump out the scent and then dump the liquid from one of these into it to see if i could make my own version of this, but I don't know if that would be a good idea. Like, I don't know how fire safe it would be <laughs> to have a different liquid than what the Bath & Body Works normal liquid for the wallflowers is. But if anyone knows anyone at Bath & Body Works or at Feel Away, please holler at them to be like, make this thing. Like if Bath & Body Works just sold bottles of cat pheromone that fit the wallflowers, I would buy that so much. I would buy all of them. I would buy like every wallflower. So yeah, that was my idea. Let me know what you think. I was like, I'm a genius. This is brilliant. Now I just have to get Bath & Body Works on board with it which won't happen. But anyway, what I was saying before I went on that tangent is that I did not buy any Halloween stuff at Bath & Body Works yet. Maybe when it all like goes super on sale, there's a couple things I might get. I did get some things from the fall collection. So let me show you what I got. So I've really been wanting one of the car scent dispensers. I don't know what they're called. Like, I don't know if they have a specific name. They probably do because all the Bath & Body Works products do. I will say that is one of the Halloween things that I maybe would have gotten if they had it, but I didn't see it, is the little dangly skeleton car scent dispenser. I thought that was super cute. I didn't see any at my store, unfortunately. So I just ended up getting a fall collection one, but I thought this one was super cute as well. So it's just a little fall drink in a pumpkin cup pumpkin mug and I thought it was so adorable and very perfect for the season for driving around in your car and getting a fall beverage you know and drinking it so I decided to go with this one just because I did want one if I see other ones I like I might buy them to replace this one but I'll probably leave this one in my car all year round otherwise because I do think it's super cute and it like is fall vibes but I think it also kind of would just work all year round so I got that and then I got three of the little scent inserts for it. They were having a deal it was like three for 11 or something. I will say everything that I bought, I had discounts and a coupon and a rewards thing. So I actually got this for free with my rewards. Um, so I ended up spending way less than how much everything cost there. So for the scent things for the car, I went with pumpkin pecan waffles pumpkin apple, and leaves. So all fall scents. I'm so excited to put this in my car and have my car smell fall and magical. I've been holding off because I wanted to do this haul first, but I am definitely gonna put it in my car next time I drive somewhere. I'm so excited to have my car smell all nice. And then, whoops. <laughs> Okay, and then the last thing that I got at Bath & Body Works, this is the thing that in my last video I mentioned that I was really excited about, and it is not Halloween or Stranger Things. I think technically this is part of the fall collection because it was new when I went there. I don't think I'd seen it before. So I think it is like fall, but for me, this is 100% a year round. Like, I don't think it's really inherently fall in any way, but it is so freaking cute. And it is this candle pedestal. Isn't that just the most magical thing you have ever seen? It's like a little stump, tree stump with moss, like velvety moss growing up on it, and then little mushrooms growing out of the side. And the tree stump itself is kind of like a bronzy gold color. Oh, it's so good. And I do decorate sort of the background of my office, which if you watch me stream or anything like that, you'll see kind of like that background. I do change that up seasonally, but the normal theme of my office, the normal decor theme in there is like a fantasy woodland, like kind of Lord of the Rings meets Redwall meets just like knights. I don't know. <laughs> That's kind of like the default theme for when I'm not decorating it for a specific season. So I feel like this will be perfect in there 
for most of the year when I don't have it decorated for like Halloween. So I'm really, really excited about this. Like I said, I don't know if other people will be excited because it's not Halloween or whatever, but I just had to buy this. I'm glad I had a coupon because the candle pedestals are not cheap. This was $29.95 before like my discounts and stuff, but I did get discounts on it. So I decided to go for it and they only had two there. So I was just like, I feel like if I don't buy this, I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> So yeah, I'm very excited and happy about getting that. Let me know what you think if this was the thing you thought I was talking about when I mentioned it in my last video, or if you think that like this is something you would be excited to get. Okay, so that is everything from Bath and Body Works. And then I just have two things from Home Goods. I went to Home Goods. Man, it is overwhelming. So the closest Home Goods to me is in Portland. So it's quite large. It's in a fairly busy populated area. And even though it's basically the same store as TJ Maxx, I don't know, I just feel so much more overwhelmed when I go in there. I don't know if it's more busy, but it feels more busy than TJ Maxx. I just feel, I don't know. So I kind of, I tried to look at everything. I didn't get any footage, but I did end up buying a few things, but also I was just getting kind of overwhelmed. So I was like, these two things are good. And then <laughs> let's go. But they did have a ton of really cute stuff. And a lot of the decor, the Halloween decor was large, like a lot of really large scale items, which I wasn't really expecting. Even some of the things that I had seen in other people's videos, were a lot bigger in person than I expected them to be. So that was kind of interesting. It was really fun to see everything, but I only ended up getting two things. So let me show you what I got. The first thing is this snuggle buddy. It is a jack-o'-lantern snuggle buddy. If you have been around here for a while, you will have seen I got another snuggle buddy at TJ Maxx. Was that last year, the year before? Maybe last year. And it's a sloth dressed as a witch and it's really cute, but it's kind of an awkward shape and the witch hat and broom are like this really scratchy felt that is not cozy at all. So when I saw this one, I was like, oh, I have to have this one too. This one is like perfect for cuddling, you know, just being cozy with. And if you don't know what a snuggle buddy is, it is basically a soft plushie that has a removable microwavable bag inside, you know, little pack. Well, here, I guess I can show you. It's like a little pack full of, I don't know, rice or whatever the thing is that you can put in the microwave so that it heats up and then it stays warm and then it's just all warm and cozy. Let me show you. So yeah, it has a little spot where it unbuttons and then the heat pack just comes out of it. So it's just this little pack and you just throw this in the microwave and it heats up and it really retains the heat for quite a while. And then you can put it back into your snuggle buddy. Put it back in your snuggle buddy and then it makes a little warm, plushy to cuddle and when you feel cold or sick or you know you got some cramps whatever you need like a heating pad for this is such a fun cute cozy way to have that so i definitely jumped at this there was only one that i saw there and i was just like i have to get that and this was 14.99 so not crazy cheap but definitely worth it especially because it is like a practical item and not just a stuffed animal basically and i just think it is so cute look at his little face he's so happy he's got the little stem and the fabric is like really soft and i don't know just very cuddly the whole thing is very cuddly that's just how i can describe it so i got that that. And then the other thing I got is something that I have been keeping an eye out for for a while, and that is a really cute set of measuring cups. I have been seeing a few around, but none that like I really loved. And then I saw these and I was like, okay, this is it. These are perfect. So they are a set of measuring cups and they have spider webs on them, which you know, if you know, then you know that I love a spider web. And then I don't know if you can see, but then the little one has spiders on it. So it's like spiders and spider webs are the different cups. And I just thought that they would go perfect in my kitchen, perfect with some of my other dishware. And my measuring cups right now are dire. Let me show you. Okay, so these are what my current measuring cups look like. They're just basic ass metal measuring cups. I think one is missing and has been for a long time. I feel like maybe these were a hand-me-down from like my husband's parents when we first moved into a house or something. Like literally I've had these for so long and they're just, I mean, they're fine, they're functional, but they're not attractive in any way. And like I said, I think we're missing one of them. So I really wanted to upgrade to something 
much cuter and these fit the bill for sure. So I'm glad that I waited because I had seen a couple other sets recently where I was like, oh, maybe this is it. Maybe I should get these, but they just, they just weren't right, you know? They weren't screaming at me, and I'm so glad that I waited because these are the perfect ones, and I am really glad that I was able to get them. And these were, these were $9.99, so that's not bad at all. There are four measuring cups, and they're ceramic for 10 bucks. I feel like that's a pretty good deal. So I'm very pleased with that. And I'm just building up my little spider web kitchen <laughs> with all the things that have spider webs on it. And yeah, that's it. That's it for this haul. A little Bath and Body Works, a little Home Goods. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if there were any items that you have your eye on or that you were like, oh yeah, definitely that's the one. You definitely should have gotten that. Just always happy to hear your opinions down in the comments about what you think about the things that I bought. I am very happy with everything I bought. Definitely no regrets in this batch. So yeah, now comes my favorite part of a haul, which is after I'm done filming, I get to go disperse all the things into my house and put them away into their place and start using them. And I'm very excited to do that. Thanks so much for watching this video and for hanging out with me. It's always lovely to have you. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and want to see more videos like this. I have hopefully more Halloween hauls and hunting coming up and I have a few other videos in store that I'm excited to film as well. Next week I'm going on a like cosplay photography retreat which I'm so excited about. I'm doing it for my birthday and I really want to take you along with me on that and film a video for that. So it's kind of a hodgepodge of content here, but if any of it is something that you like, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at House Beyond the Hedge. And if you want to follow me on Twitch, it's at Trusty Parasol. And always remember to keep the kettle warm because I will see you next time. Bye.